The Belmonts? You're a Belmont. We should have killed all the Belmonts. We'll need someone to fight for us. You're not supposed to hide in a hut. A Belmont? I thought your family had vanished. I was a hero once. You feel no compassion. And you look as if you have some fight in you. This is what the church wanted. I lost count of how many vampires I killed. Maybe I'm tired of fighting. The Belmonts dealt with monsters. I grew up with stories about your family. The Belmonts fought monsters, son. Scary bedtime stories. Mostly. They still tell them here, you know. But they have a different ending now. They end with, and the Belmonts aren't here to save you anymore. So if you're not good, the monster will come and eat you up. You'll lose. We might well lose. But if nothing else, we might show someone that although battles are won and lost, there is a larger war at stake. With Dracula's armies. No. War for the soul of our people. So you're going to die for nothing? For people you don't know? We don't have to know you all. We do it anyway. And it's not dying that frightens us. It's never having stood up and fought for you. You get back to whatever steaming underworld shithole you came from. You tell them there are still Belmonts up here. Do you know me? Of course I know you. Finding things and recognizing things is what we do. And you are absolutely a thing. I'm a little more than a thing. No. You're only a thing. And I suppose for the first time I really made a choice about the kind of person I want to be. You are practically the Jesus of murder. Are you dictating your fucking obituary to me, Belmont? You and me, we're just killers of history. It's time for us to go. And who's going to make me go? You, with your bit of string in your hand? Probably not. But let's just give this one last go, shall we? <laughs>